Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, first of all, thanks for, to the organizers uh, for having this chance to give a talk and to present uh, Ghost BSD project. Um, and yeah, the other talk from Sophie has been ca canceled, unfortunately, but now at least we have one talk so and thanks for all who uh, are listening to this talk and also to some persons who i know to fred to luna <laughs> or to alex so the topic of uh, my presentation is ghost bsd game winner for daily use oh uh, hmm? uh, First of all, some bio stuff. Um, my name is on the art. I'm born 1989 and um, my roots are ha half German, half Filipino, but I'm more Filipino. I'm home country is Germany, polyglot freelancing. Um, I have several engagement in Linux communities like Fedora, Majeo, OpenSUSE, but as well in GhostBSD. Um, some contact data. You can reach me in Twitter, on my blog, on my email, IRC, uh, Matrix, and Telegram. Um, another point is uh, during my talk you can feel free to ask questions or comments um, in the shared notes you have the possibilities to uh, write down questions or comments so uh, we can discuss them in between or after my talk so just feel free to add your ideas so first of all some stuff um, i've decided to use some memes it's a bit modern um i like this one linux is too mainstream i use free bsd a nice cat meme or about iceland an isolated island with its own culture that no one understands we are free bsd okay another stuff uh is this is also something uh, fu funny, uh, in my opinion, um, especially as we look um, here, 2017, it sh it, in this uh, surely is a year <coughs> of Linux desktop in 2020. Surely this is in the year of Linux desktop 2023, Microsoft just announced windows will be now based on linux and the last one for sure this is a year of free bsd desktop so yeah environment change do you want to test ghost bsd during my talk yes you can do this i have here the link um, feel free to download the suitable um iso and what do you need a virtual manager for on your favor virtual box gnome boxes or kvm uh, something about ghost project in general um, ghost bsd is a simple and elegant friendly bsd operating system for desktops and laptops based on freeze bsd and uh, ghost bsd is a slow rolling <coughs> release while some GNU Linux distros are on bleeding edge site. Um, the main desktop is uh, Mate, and we have a graphical application to install software and update your uh, system. Most codecs uh, to play multimedia files are pre-installed, and the installer uh, leverages OpenZFS, makes it easy to install GhostBSD. And for newcomers, it's much easier instead of FreeBSD, but, uh, well, it's a matter of your personal, which learning curve you prefer. 
and Ghost BSD is most uh, compatible with the modest hardware requirement, and you can use it as well as a modern workstation on 64-bit single board computer hardware. Uh, yes, some other um, stuff is Ghost BSD is from um, Canada. Uh, but has help from people all over the world, like all projects, uh, open source projects uh, we know, and uh, our source code is available in GitHub. And all the code uh, we wrote is licensed under the Simplified BSD license. Um, so if you want to support the Ghost BSD project, feel free. Um, to donate some software, hardware, or become a patron on Patreon and to support our Ghost BSD project. Some other basic info about uh, Ghost BSD. Ghost BSD is a Unix-like uh, operating system, and as I said before, um, Ghost BSD provides Mate desktop as the default version, and we have an XFCE desktop uh, version, which is a community release. Um, in um, for my information, we have also some plans about a KDE community release or Cinnamon uh, community release, but I'm not really up to date which progress we have at the moment. So if you want to contribute on this on KDE community release or Cinnamon uh, community release, feel free to join Ghost BSD. Ghost BSD is released on the FreeBSD 13.0 stable branch and Ghost BSD can be used by companies, researchers, data scientists, computer professionals, students, home users, education, and all over the world. Um, the goal of the Ghost BSD project is to combine combine the ease of use of a set of GTK desktops with security and flexibility of the underlying FreeBSD mechanisms and Ghost BSD is a good starting point and great tool to learn FreeBSD and to start the adventure in the BSD uh, world. And Ghost BSD may be used for any purpose and without strings attached. This was also uh, my starting point in the BSD world using Ghost BSD and having a good uh, start with a really friendly and welcoming uh, community. Another aspect is GhostBSD was developed as an operating system to hack um, GNOME using BSD technology. <laughs> Thank you, Sophie. For, uh, and after a while, it became what was referred to as GNOME hosted by BSD, which means that GNOME is hosted on the free BSD system. And now that we support multiple GTK desktops, it is more accurate to call it GTK hosted by BSD. And the dev team releases a new version more or less every couple of months. A testing period precedes each release in order to ensure that the addition of new features doesn't compromise the stability of the release. And this is one really important aspect. Uh, if we want to compare it to a Linux or so, uh, BSD is really a stable uh, yeah, system. And um, we in GhostBSD really ensure the stability and we do not really do some fancy stuff and do experiments. Uh, now the demo of GhostBSD installation, I hope this will work with my virtual uh, machine. We will see. It's always a fun. Uh, effect if it doesn't work or 
something. What do you need? Um, we say the minimum system requirements. Uh, you need a 64-bit proce processor, at least four gigabyte of ROM, 15 gigabyte of free hard drive space, and a network card. The recommended system requirements would be eight uh, gigabyte of RAM, 30 gigabyte of free hard drive spaces, network card, sound card, 3D accumulated video card. How to create a bootable USB flash drive? Please look here in the link um, on our wiki. And is my hardware supported? This is a really important question because uh, and yes, it can be really tricky sometimes to get the Wi-Fi card running, or specific uh, sound webcam. For gamers, uh, actually, some RGB keyboards or mouse running. Um, please check on BSD hardware info and uh, to check if uh, your hardware is supported or and um, if other users have uploaded already um, similar uh, f stats of their hardware they are using. One aspect about RGB keywords or mouse, I, uh, I can say that uh, uh, Alexander and uh, I uh, talked about my Logitech uh, RGB keyboard and mouse. And thanks to you, Alexander, that you have uh, provided and packaged uh, the package uh, for the Logitech keyboard, which I'm using. So I have to look on as well. Uh, some questions. Okay. Okay. Demo time. Um, I hope you can see it. Yeah. Black screen. I love it. There's no problem then. I will start again. <laughs> yeah, 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 Windows. Yeah, I know. I'm uh, I I am la lazy <laughs> today. So we have a bit to wait. Um, but in the meantime, maybe. Where can I, uh, yeah, one question would be where can the KDE Community Edition Ghost BSD be downloaded? Uh, not, no, not yet. Um, because if you want to do this, um, feel free to join uh, us in Telegram and, and to participate there to show your interest. And uh, also uh, to join on GitHub, I would recommend uh, join our main Telegram group and the uh, um, Dev Telegram group of course, BSD. 
uh, why the focus on GTK isn't it mainly for GNOME on Linux these days? Uh, focus on GTK, yeah. <laughs> it's really. really yeah. Um, I would say it's not really only for GNOME on Linux these days. Um, you know that we have also the possibility in, on FreeBSD to use uh, GNOME and um, let me say um, with the release of GNOME 40, for example, uh, and GTK 4, um, the development process is a bit, uh, is good and really fast, but uh, in my opinion, it may, it will t take time that uh, GTK 4 and the other application, all the stuff around will work properly. Maybe I would say it will take maybe at least half a year or one year uh, to have no no bugs running, etc. Et, et and to get uh, work, things working properly. Um, Therefore, it's really nice to use, uh, in my opinion, um, MATE or XFCE, because they are rock solid, stable, and yeah, it takes time for the development process, but um, it's also a question of, do we really need always fancy new speedy stuff you know this is a coming also a question of society today so um ah okay okay so um here you see now the um our uh, installation uh GhostBSD installer uh, we have several apps supported and for sure we um we go here for English, uh, you click next. Then um, on the keyboard setup uh, as well, you can, we go um, for, in my case, it's easier to go with German keyboard. And we go with a generic stuff. And then time zone selection. Um, in my case, it's Europe, and then in Berlin. Berlin, um, you can then you will uh, ask in the installation type, do you want to have a full this configuration or custom uh, advanced partitioning? Um, for because GhostBSD is very uh, beginner friendly, uh, I always go recommend go with full disk configuration. And, and the next point is ZFS configuration. Here you see uh, pool type. You can select uh, two disk mirror, three disk mirror. You can define the pool pool name. And here you see the place select where to install. Uh, here it is our virtual uh, hardware drive. I click on next. Uh, Here's three BSD BIOS loader only. Um, if you're going or you want to dual boot with Windows, uh, with Windows or Linux, you can. Another good option is also uh, to use RE Find Boot Manager. Um, so you're going to ask root password. Um, yeah, for testing stuff um with a name and 
Here the default shell uh, on GhostBSD is fish. It's really not, um, I like using fish, but uh, you can also, as you see, uh, choose uh, to bash uh, uh, ZSH. Um, I will choose fish as default, and then you click on install. And as you see, this is the main installation progress. And GhostBSD is going to install now. So nothing complicated uh, compared to uh, free, free um, BSD, which uh, has a higher learning curve. Uh, this is a good idea to have the user select. Uh, yeah, I see. Uh, yeah, I get your point, Jan. Mm. Um, it may be um, difficult for some users uh, to uh, well, how would I say? Um, they would be a bit um, overwhelmed about which uh, way to choose. Um, may maybe th this can be adjusted. Um, I will take this note. Um, yeah, I see DSL. So you guys, yeah, and, uh, I know, but <laughs> I've talked to Alexander, for, for example, um, that others are uh, not using as well um, their uh, 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 <laughs> are using Mac and presenting you know, BSD stuff. Um, um, I'm sure somebody would also complain that, oh, Andy, why are you using Fedora or Debian or Manjaro and present a ghost BSD? Why not using ghost BSD and present ghost, their ghost BSD directly? Um, chill out. Yeah? So, um, in the meantime, questions. Is GNOME 3 ever, ever likely? Well, I do not know what the question should want exactly, ever likely. Um, ah, I see. I support it on, as a desktop. Um, as I said, if you want to have GNOME 3, GNOME Desktop, there, feel free to release, uh, to work on the community release, yeah. Uh, for, are you gonna have GNOME 4 in the future? Yeah. It will take time. Uh, question number five. Why does GhostBSD use its own kernel build and its own pictures for the some FreeBSD ones? Wouldn't yeah, uh, this is a bit, uh, yeah, question. Um, as you know, um, we have recent, with, well, maybe not uh, on the blog, uh, we have been asking the community about uh, Staying on open RC or going to switch to the pre BSD um, RC and the community uh, voted to switch to the free BSD. And Eric is uh, has started the work to uh, to switch all the stuff and to replace it with open uh, and to replace it. Uh, the current uh, open RC. Um, I know that some users will also not be happy about this decision. Um, but if it's always a question of uh, maintaining and GhostBSD is a sm small project, uh, we do have some 
contributors, uh, but uh, Eric is doing really hard working stuff besides his work. And if he would, if we would say, okay, let us keep OpenSC and the free, do the FreeBSD RC stuff, um, then yeah, it's a uh, topic of time and maintaining and quality. And this is also uh, one aspect uh, which you have always uh, to consider. So you see here, the installation is completed. Uh, we can do then a restart. Uh, question number six, uh, is the stuff from other older description of VCD? VCD is still being used in In, for my information, not. We have uh, done this. No. Uh, number seven. Are there any lessons to be learned from the failure peep? Oh, um, <laughs> this is, I guess, um, a really, I would say. This is a question maybe you can discuss with uh, in the community directly or with uh, a chat with Eric in our Telegram group about it. Um, because, uh, yeah. Number of question number eight. Uh, are modern laptop features like fingerprint reader supported? Um, this, if you really w uh, want to want to use uh, to know this, um, go to um, the bsd uh, minus uh, hardware dot info uh, site so maybe uh, pro yeah thanks for adding the link uh, then you can check this out please keep always in mind uh, that uh, okay uh, then, uh, Please keep always in mind that the development process, etc., etc., is not uh, so fast uh, like in, in Linux with the you know, that with each re kernel release and their new uh, stuff uh, supported. Um, and basically, it's focus on stability, and it takes time. Uh, question number nine: What would need to happen so that you ditch? Ah, <laughs> oh, this is really a nice question. Um, this is an, one. The answer really uh, answer is um, uh, free BSD or BSD should become a fully a full. Uh, place for gamers um, best support for graphic cards for all the games you know like if you want to uh, uh, game uh, Watch Dogs and have compatibilities with the Ubisoft Connect Epic Store games and all the tricky stuff which is as well on lin Linux can be also uh, cause many head edges yeah then i am absolutely uh uh ready to ditch uh, windows completely um i use windows only for the gaming stuff because some games unfortunately do not run either on freebsd or on linux uh, where we get unfortunately but most stuff i'm going to uh, do is on bsd or linux um, 10, is it a good idea to use a, uh, okay, I said, uh, yeah, I've answered this already. 11, what is your experience using GhostBSD? How does it, well, um, for me, GhostBSD, uh, my personal experience, um, it's, 
a really uh, a really awesome experience uh, for me because uh, I can do the everyday stuff I need. Um, I do my office work, uh, check my emails, uh, watch YouTube. Um, I can even do um, OB, OBS Studio, do some streaming if I want, um, podcast, blogs, writing, so e gaming um, for sure as well, but with uh, some limit with a lot of limitations uh, because uh, not all stuff is um, supported well. Yep. Um, so I can recommend it using Ghost BSD really, and um, we have an, a very o open, friendly uh, community um, who. Well, and where we really welcoming and um, yeah, just try out. Uh, yo, yeah, ports. Been. Yeah, this is um, may maybe I don't know if uh. You want to say something, Alexander, about your Homura uh, uh, app and application, and you can join my talk. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Ah, so, nice. so uh, please f uh, feel free to uh, add maybe this, um, yeah, up for gaming. Yeah, um, 2019, I have started to use FreeBSD. And um, I was still using Wine over the command line, and I just was too lazy to um, use the command line for all the times. And then I have set up a small program where I can handle uh, the games. And uh, while I have to try each launcher like Steam or Ubisoft, I also have um, written scripts so that a uh, user can already use the scripts for an easy. Uh, one click out of the box experience. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right now, I have switched to uh, Wine Proton. It's a new uh, port on FreeBSD as well, and it also have no uh, multi lip support where you can play newer games like Sea of Thieves or um, or what gives it now so. I don't. Um, I don't know. Cyberpunk is it going to uh, work? I guess Cyberpunk could work too. Well, because it's also available on Steam. No? Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, uh, I do uh, currently much play Elder Scrolls Online, but works uh, as well. Yeah. Maybe I don't know which fancy games. Uh, yes, Borderlands Three uh, works as well. Yeah. Fortnite, maybe for some Fortnite. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, because we have, uh, uh, we have to check as well the uh, uh, compatibility with the Epic Game Store or Legendary. Yeah? Um, uh, if there is other um, so good solution to you to use it and to run it some stuff um oh resident evil i say oh. uh, about epic games some uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. some users have um yesterday tried out a uh, rare it's a guy for a legendary uh -huh. and uh, it seems to work out of the box so you only have to uh set up it via python some things and uh, it should work. Okay. Yeah. Well, then I have uh, something to do this uh, weekend and um, to <laughs> to end the shitstorm. Mm -hmm. I have started with Windows. <laughs> well, but I I do not use Mac OS, so. Uh, um. Yeah, maybe also some games. Uh, I, uh, which are on Epic Games, I do maybe some of you know, uh, the old world on, uh, round turn based, uh, strategy game. 
um, I can really recommend it. Um, and we have on Discord a very nice community as well. So gaming stuff. Do you want to add something, Alexander? Mm, I don't think that I can add something. Um, if you want to know about more about gaming and stuff or an mm. algorithmic help um, on the FreeBSD official Discord, there's a room mm. gaming and uh, we are all always there and to help and stuff. Yeah. And uh, for those BSD users who don't want to join the Discord, you uh, can also use the uh, Telegram gaming group. Do we have FreeBSD? Uh, no. What uh, do you want? GhostBSD? GhostBSD, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. So um, this is not the point how to get support. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, uh, Sophie, I see your question. Uh, I think I have forgot yeah. what that <laughs> to try out Ozu. <laughs> Ozu? Uh, Ozu? It's a um, rhythm game. As far okay, as okay. Know. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Well, uh, how to get support um as i said as we said uh, join our telegram groups um maybe uh, yeah thanks uh, for sharing fred um, our main telegram group um and we have also irc channel but oh i see i have to adjust it to libera chat dot chat as you know um so uh, you can also reach us there and we have also ghost bsd forum um if we have uh, a wiki page you um, and uh, faq section there and you find the most frequently asked questions and answers Somebody uh, else have uh, still a question? I don't know. I don't see anything new. And the shared notes, nothing. So uh, how to contribute? Uh, you have several ways to contribute to the Ghost BSD project. Um, it depends which uh, abilities you have. If you, you, um, you can, if you have coding skills and knowledge, you can join our Ghost BSD uh, development team. Uh, so, Fred, if you are so, if you're polite and share the uh, Telegram link, it would be nice. Uh, and you can ask there, uh, Eric. Uh, Eric is our head developer and uh, he will always uh, reply as soon as possible. Uh, you can, if you're a, um, art an artist and uh, creative worker, you can contribute in the fan art logos wallpapers. Uh, you can also help us in the design, maintain the website and also uh, help in translation stuff. Maybe this is also a good uh, aspect that we need, uh, need always contributors for translation or editing the wikis to improve us and on even the website. Um, so feel free uh, to ask, where can I contribute? Where can I start? And we are on there to help and guide you um, there. If you find any bugs or have any other ideas, you can as well Telegram or the forum. And how can you also spread Ghost BSD project? The best way is share the ideas, talk about Ghost BSD, share the P, uh, the PDF or share the uh, YouTube uh, the uh, uh, talk uh, on YouTube and yeah just talk to your friends neighbors colleagues 
how nice it is to use Ghost BSD in for daily use. So that's a summary. Ghost BSD is based on the FreeBSD 13.0 stable branch, the head developer is Eric Turgeon. It's easy to use and can be used by company students, home users, or in education staff. Ghost BSD comes with a working desktop material as official and XFCE as a community release, and the Ghost BSD packages are built using Ghost BSD ports. Thank you for your uh, attention and Q&A session. I have combined it during the installation uh, process, but um, yeah, now we have still some minutes left and uh, to talk uh, or to share our ideas. Yeah, thanks for listening and again and for joining my talk and have a nice Saturday. Enjoy the other talks uh, today and have a nice sunny weekend and stay all safe. Thanks, Sophie. Uh, share business uh, uh, I also I have seen a question by Pro Bono. Pro Bono. Uh, oh. He have asked why um, Ghost PC have ah. its own package system instead of using the mm -hmm. PC one. Uh, I think the, um, yeah. the answer could be that there are some special patches for the Ghost yeah. PC. Um, uh, yeah, I yeah, yeah. So having self is the RC topic. Yeah, this is actually. Yeah, one RC topic. This is uh, the RC topic. Yeah, um, and for Bono, know. ask uh, uh, the best of uh, Eric um, because um, he can give you the best answer. Uh, I think the, uh, more one of the reasons could be that uh, yeah. there are some configuration files, especially for Ghost BSD out of the box. Yeah, for example. Yeah, yeah, yes. That's uh, that's as well the point. Um, yeah. Any other questions or comments, ideas? So we have two minutes left. Um, Are you enjoying it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, out of all the, <laughs> which one is your? Oh, this, this is a really tricky I mean, question. I only use one, and that's VBC. Yeah, for for me, it is. Um, Yeah, I, in my opinion, uh, to say what's the best, you, you know, nowadays uh, it's a bit narrow-minded, in my opinion. Um, I love GhostBSD and FreeBSD, um, and yeah, they're working. I do in this true test.net, yep. Thanks, Fred, for sharing this as well. No, Windows. <laughs> no, this is definitely not my favorite um, uh, um, uh, OS. Uh, it's really only for pragmatic reasons of uh, gaming uh, as, uh, games that are really not running well. And 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 as I said, this is not. I don't use Windows for my uh, work stuff, freelancing, etc. It's only for gaming purpose. And yeah, I've used it now for the <laughs> for the um, for the presentation, but it's it was more a lazy reason, <laughs> to be honest. Otherwise, for sure, uh, I 
I wouldn't mind using and presenting uh, GhostBSD on GhostBSD or on FreeBSD. So I this we have now twelve thirty, um, and we have now lunch break as I know, if I'm right. Is there some good reasons or uh, to maintain spurt? Ah, Fred, why move away from yeah. We ask the community, uh, um, and the community voted um, I have to read, switch. Um, for course, switching to a um, to um, own, uh, uh, in its system, where uh, I have seen it on a website, there was only yeah. one uh, good point when using OpenRC, and the other points are just uh, was not important. So uh, you have switched to the old one. Hey. Yes, uh, yeah. Well, in my opinion, it's we have asked the, uh, Eric asked the community, but this is well, maybe it's now again a sh shit spot, But uh, this is a technical question, and if you ask uh, the community, yeah, the community says, oh, "Okay, let us sw switch to the to this." But maybe sometimes such, such important decisions have to be done within the dev team. It's my, my opinion. In my opinion, open, open RC is really nice. So, but, um, So, well, I enjoy that there's a good discussion. <laughs> yeah. I have to, <laughs> I have to yeah. check it out, Sophie. Uh, also, um, I have to ask uh, Alexander more about it, but uh, I will enjoy and check it out. I've ported a six RC to FreeBSD. Oh, Jan, this sounds really interesting. Yeah, food now, guys. We are all hungry. <laughs> uh, or, or not. I, so for me, <laughs> th thanks a lot. Uh, yep. So, so um, we can talk and uh, discuss uh, if you want in the hallway uh, or the uh, chat. Um, Yeah, uh, Raymond or Fred, we uh, let us uh, switch only to the hallway and um, talk and discuss there. I would enjoy it. Others can um, join as well for sure. So have a nice uh, lunch, guys. Uh, see you in the hallway uh, track. And thanks again to the organizers. This is a working you. you uh, Euro BSD Con 2021, and hopefully next year where we can see us face to face.